quality of the and the quality of the and the quality of the and and mobile the so this is going to look great hanging up on your wall. So the first thing what we're going to do is um, get all of, of our items out of our pack. Um, I've got everything spread out here ready. Now I do strongly recommend that you um, cover your work surfaces um, with old newspaper or wear old clothes because this can be quite a messy activity and um, the paint does have a tendency to splatter and the likelihood of you ending up wearing it is quite high. Now I've pre-mixed these paints already so if you can see there we've got our nice we've got our pink we've got our, our green is ready and we've got our blue paint as well. Um, now in here I've got my purple paint this is how you mix up your bubble mix so pop all your paint into a cup then if you take your bottle of bubble mix and put three spoons in and it's the same for each colour so if you carefully measure out there's one two three three you do need to mix your paint really well so because it will look quite lumpy so you do need to give it quite a good mix keep mixing it until all the lumps have gone and that will help you have a nice color when you do your your bubbles if the paint's still in lumps you're not going to have as much color in in your bubbles and it won't look as nice so once I've mixed that in, I know that, that is, it's going to be too thick to be able to blow bubbles. So you need to add a spoon of water. Now the idea is, is to add a spoon of water, take the spoon out and then use a straw and blow. That's not coming up and doing anything, it isn't. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with your bubbles, there isn't. It just means that the paint mix is too thick. Now I'm adding another two spoons of water here. Because on average, it takes about two to three spoons of water. It does depending on um, how thick your paint mix is. I'm gonna take that out again, and I'm gonna try blowing again. There you go we have bubble mix so we don't need to add any more water to that that's looking great and if you can see my desk at all it's splattered with bubbles it is so this is why i'm saying make sure you use a protective cover on your surfaces so what we're going to do now i'm going to blow my bubbles i am and we're just going to place a piece of white card on the top to catch the bubbles. I'm going to change colours as well. You can put more than one colour on a sheet. Can you see how that looks? Pretty. Looks really good. Okay, so my green's not bubbling up very well. So again, we're just gonna add a little bit more water. And give that a mix. See how that's looking. I'm going to add a bit of blue as well. And 
we're having some blue bubbles. Now, what you need to do is put your card aside to dry. Um, you're you're going to find it really difficult to cut out shapes um, whilst your card is wet. So whilst you're waiting for your card to dry, what we can do is to get our mobile ready. So I've got a piece of my ribbon here and I've tied it to the one end of my stick and I'm just going to tie it again to the other end. This is going to create our hanging loop so that we can hang it on our wall and you can trim the little ends off afterwards. So there you go. You can spread those out to how far apart you want them to be. So that will hang up nicely. I've got paint all over my table, so my ribbons are going to end up covered in paint. So I'm taking another ribbon and I'm going to tie it to the, roughly the centre. nice and tight so that it doesn't come off so that there is approximately the center and then we're going to get our other ribbon Once you've tied all your ribbons on, I'm tying one on either end. You can trim the ribbons to be a little bit shorter if you want to at the end so that it creates different layers. And um, that's what I'm going to do with mine. So we have our hanging ribbon and then we have our ribbons that we're going to stick our lovely C shapes too okay but these ones at the end we can just trim them off to make them a little bit shorter if you wanted to so it'll create an interesting shape but that's entirely up to yourselves now I've got shapes here that I've already cut out this is out of my bubble painting that I've already done so what I'm going to do is um, with your glue if you just snip a very tiny tiny corner off the glue and then spread your glue out over the backs of your shapes. And then we're going to kind of sandwich the shape in between the ribbon. Okay. You can see how that ribbon is sandwiched between those shapes. And we've put the shapes back to back, give them a big press down so it doesn't matter which side the mobile's hanging or facing, both sides are going to look pretty. They are. Now, here's my paper that I'd already done that's nice and dry. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get another shape. So we're just going to draw around that shape. This is where it's really good if you use an adult to help you um, to cut out the shapes. Obviously, scissors get a, a quite sharp, so we don't want any accidents. And then what you can do, if you depending on what shape you're using, if you flip the shape over, you'll have a mirror mirror image shape, so that they will sit to back to back identically. Then. So again, it's just a case of cutting this shape out. Now, 
there's no rule on where you have to place your shapes as to um, only can put one shape on each ribbon. You can put multiple shapes on each ribbon. That's why I've put the fish at the top of the shape, of the, the fish at the top of the ribbon, um, so that we can get more shapes on. So as you can see here, where we've stuck our fish at, at the top, then we can put our starfish lower down we can so you'll start to build a really nice hang wall hanging with your beautiful bubble paintings hope you enjoy have fun and keep yourself safe don't want no accidents bye